video just on how to do future value and present value, what the formula is, a couple little tricks about it, and one you can always sort of use to test to make sure you're doing it right because it deals with the, the rule of 72. And so if we have a present value, present value, let's say our present value is $1,000 we want to know what the future value is going to be. And so to do this, we're going to have a formula. And the formula is pretty simple. You're just going to take your present value multiplied. So there's no multiplication in there, but that's just, it's implied, it's multiplied. One plus the return or the interest rate. And you're going to have this little carrot thing. That's an exponent of time or years and that's going to give you your future value. So let's say that we have a present value of $1,000 and we're going to do this at an interest rate or return of 7.2% and we're going to say this is over 10 years. So what's the future value? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our present value times one plus point zero seven two. Why point zero seven two? Because that's the decimal of seven point two percent. Then we're going to say the exponent of ten years, and that's going to equal our future value. Now whenever we see this exponent sign, that's equal to your x of Y button on your simple calculator. And so if you're looking at this, you're taking the present value times one plus 0.072, use the X of Y button, and then hit 10. And that's gonna give you your future value. So the present value is 1000 times 1.072 to the exponent or the X of Y, 10, and that's going to be 2004.23, and we'll say this is sort of rounded because there's actually a bunch of numbers behind that. And so what this is doing is taking the $1,000, and it's going to assume that your compounded annual growth rate is 7.2%. Meaning, if you make 7.2% on $1,000 in one year, at the end of the year, you'd have 1,007.20, or 20 cents. And then in year two, you would get 7.2% uh, on the 1,007 and 20 cents. So your money compounds, all right? So now what do we do if we wanna take a look and see the present value formula? So instead of the, the future value we were trying to solve for, we're taking this number and we're bringing it back to the present value. So how do we do that? Well, first, we multiplied in this first one. In this one, we're gonna divide. And the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna take the future value. Um, that's supposed to be a V, future value, divided by one plus our return or the interest rate that we got to the exponent of time. So how do we do that? Well, we know we had 2,423 and we're going to take that, we're going to divide it by 1.072 to the exponent of 10 years. And so this winds up being, um, and remember this, this thing here, we do this, that is the X of Y button on your simple calculator or your iPhone. Uh, but if you're taking a test, most likely you'll have a simple just calculator with the X of Y button. All right. And so when we do this math, we're going to wind up with uh, 999.99. So rounded. It's $1,000. So look at that. Um, that's our present value. This was our future value up here. And the reason why I chose the 7.2, it gets into the, the rule of 72. And that is, if you take 
uh, 72 divided by your annualized percent return, it should tell you just about the amount of years it takes to double. And so if you ever thinking, well, am I doing this right? Oh, remember the rule of 72, because I remember that if I get 7.2% annually, my money should double in about 10 years. And so if you're doing the first part, $1,000, it should just about double. In this case, it goes over a little bit. And in the second one, you're like, okay, I have a little bit over $2,000. And if I uh, go ahead and divide it by the return to the exponent of, of 10, which is the number of years, I should cut it in half because it's the rule of 72. So this is a good one to remember if you ever want to check and make sure your formulas are correct. Now, the reason why this isn't exactly, you know, why it came out a little bit different, remember, we, there's a bunch of decimals past this uh, that we just rounded to, and there's a bunch of decimals past that, and we rounded it up. But um, that's how you do the present value and the future value. All right.